Welcome to day 18 of our January challenge 2023 and a rest day, so no new teaching today, but a play along video putting our two lines of music that we've done so far together. And if you've watched any of the other videos, you'll also know that when we get to the end of that second line, we also loop back note wise to what's happened at the beginning of both those lines. And it's really good practice to get your hands back there. So we will do that as well. Okay, we're going to go ya da 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 ba di da. I'm going to try that speed. Um, by now, I'm hoping that you're starting to internalize the feel for it. And I don't want to go um, too slow and ploddy with it because it needs to start having that feeling of having a beat and then ha therefore having that off beat. All right, trust it and just go in with it. Okay, and just try and keep going the matter. Here we go. Three and four and. So remembering that we've got the D sharp, F sharp up top, as well as our normal levers, try that again. Okay, same speed again, and then I'll do one faster. Okay, we also need to do it down the octave. All right, but we'll do it in the same place for the moment. Ready? One, two, three, and four, and. Remember to smile, keep smiling, and... Lever, back like the beginning. Okay, well done. So you've already got the F lever off, I hope. Get rid of the D, put the F and the D on near middle C instead. We're going to do that again at that speed, but an octave lower. Okay, before I then do some faster ones. Okay, so an octave lower. Right hand is on E and D, left hand on C, G, E, but the right hand is down by middle C now. It's just the same notes, just an octave lower. Okay, it's really good to be doing this straight away um, rather than thinking, oh, I'll try and come to that later. Because if you try too hard to read this and transpose it down an octave, you'll have a lot of processing to do. Whereas if you've, as you've learned it, you've also then just done the same thing here, you'll be internalizing it a lot more and it will all make sense a lot more. Okay, ready? Three, uh, so da, 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 one, two, three, and four, and. Right, we'll stay down there a moment, but I'm going to do it faster again, and then I'll do it high, faster, and then we'll finish. Okay, so we're going to go. Okay, at that speed, it starts to have the nice roll to it. Okay. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh, do you put the F back on? I almost forgot it. So I've got F. And D just by middle C, get into the zone. Ready, one, two, three, four. Okay, that funny noise I just made was me 
trying to change my lever before I was actually meant to. So keep an eye on that. Okay, get rid of that F if you hadn't already, hopefully you have. Get rid of the D, jump back up the octave, add your D and your F, an octave and a couple of notes above middle C. There, normal levers everywhere else. We're gonna play it again back as written and at that livelier speed, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four. Done. It's really good to try and get back into that after that lever change. We'll do that one last time and this time you're going to smile. Okay, so put your F back on. Okay, even if you're only playing with one hand, you're going to smile. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> that once I get into that kind of speed I also start wanting to sort of move with it as though I'm sort of being like some cheeky house moving urchin I'm not quite sure but it really helps to start letting your body be part of that performance just keep smiling involve your whole self in it all right enjoy your rest day and catching up and tomorrow we'll learn some more new notes you're doing great. Keep it up. Well done.